Hey, what's up, OV Tribe? Thanks for joining us today. Today, we are going out to hit the trail as a company, and this is gonna be a slightly different video. If you've watched the channel typically, we do a lot of gear-related stuff, this is gonna be behind the scenes. So, let's go hit the trail. We've got some first-time backpackers joining us today. We've got a lot of sandy, dusty trail ahead of us. We don't have a lot of water, and we're really relying on a spring at the end. So, let's go hit the trail. Let's see if we can find some water, and let's bring you behind the scenes behind Outdoor Vitals. Everybody. This is Tiffany. It's my first time backpacking. I'm out here with Outdoor Vitals. This is my second backpacking trip um, and my wife's up there clear up front. This is her first time backpacking. She always pushes herself a little too hard. I don't know. don't know why. She just likes to get it done. But I don't think she's scared of anything right now. I think she's feeling good. This is gonna be good. I'm excited. McLean keeps telling me that we have to go camping so I figured might as well tag along with all of them, have some fun. I'm actually super surprised. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to carry a backpack. I'm gonna die, but this is nice. I convinced my wife to come on this trip with me again. Um, I really like hiking with Maddie. Uh, it just makes it way more fun. I get to work, I get paid to go back and I get to hang out with my wife. It's just the best of all the worlds. Derek, it's my husband. He wants me to be recording this, and I don't have anything to say. I just got done with a conversation with Tiffany in the back. She's This is her first backpacking trip. It's fun to have another girl out here that like, you can relate to, wants to talk about something other than hunting and the last backpacking trip. There's some people over there, so I'm gonna get off because I'm socially awkward. I'm trying out gloves for fast packing or running with trekking poles and uh, they're kind of silly looking, but uh, I don't understand this. I bought these on Amazon, mistake number one. I just have a random hole, so when anyone has an idea of what that's for, let me know. My chocolate bar melted in my pocket of my hip belt. Now I have a chocolate dipped multi-tool, chocolate dipped snacks. I helped plan the trip. I got the permit in for this trail. As we're getting our permit checked by the rangers, they were like, hey, you have eight people and your permit says seven. And I was like, oh no, I messed it up. They were cool about it. They really wanted an accurate count and uh, they were willing to overlook the mistake. I just get chopped on my face. <laughs> now we're good to go. We're out here, it's good, it's pretty. I'm here with my husband. Yeah, he's a boss. <laughs> We're just chugging along. We usually sit at home and eat chocolate sundaes, so this is a little different for us. I'm hoping there's a Krispy Kreme up here in a mile or two, or a Mickey D's. Chick-fil-A would be bomb, but that's my main concern right now. I brought a peak meal just in case they didn't, but I'm pretty sure they're out there. It's really pretty out here. I don't know if you can see all those gorgeous red rocks behind us. I love coming hiking down here because Derek and I, some of our first hiking trips were in this area and we took our engagement pictures here. So there's a lot of different memories going on. Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to tune in really quick. We found the water, that was great. We swapped all of our steaming hot water, which is not refreshing, with cold water, so that's been awesome. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a pro tip. Oh, we're also gonna see how well the first time backpacker does in a tent tonight. Uh, but pro tip, I've been thinking about this. I literally just took them off my face, which is my sunglasses. I have amber tinted sunglasses. I think 99% of people have like the black or the smoked, you know, but out here in the desert, it's green right now. And those amber tinted sunglasses make everything so green. It's like you're walking through a rainforest. It's so stinking pretty. So that's your pro tip. Next time you go outdoors, swap your regular sunglasses for some amber tinted sunglasses. And it's like you're walking through a different world. Another pro tip. 
keep your snacks right there. You don't want to get them too far away. Snacks need to be close at hand. All right, check this out, guys. Hopefully you can see those cliffs all the way surrounding us. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't make you dizzy. We just got to camp, we hiked up to the arch. It was super awesome. We're starving. I have some coconut curry from Peak Refuel that I am really looking forward to, but we're getting a camp set up and then we're gonna be eating, hanging out, and uh, swapping some more stories. So we got some tired people. We logged nine miles in, in the sand and the brutal heat today. So um, not too shabby, but uh, felt more like more than nine miles. Anyways, let's go get that coconut curry warmed up, get the tent pitched, and get these shoes off. Have you had a backpacker meal before? Nope. Is it good? Delicious. Perfect. Definitely better than homemade. So we are some of the first one up this morning. Tyler's up, he's on his tent. He's probably wandering around somewhere. Everybody else is still asleep, but we're all packed up, eating some breakfast Maddie made. Some of this Peak Refuel Mountain Blueberry, and it is, I'll tell you what, it is delicious. It's a slave flavor. <laughs> so far, good morning. Natty and I left camp already. We've kind of headed out on our own a little bit earlier. Um, like I said, trying to get Maddie back for a meeting. People are kind of just waking up, starting to clean up, eat breakfast, things like that. I'm sure they'll catch up later. We expect everyone else just to catch up with us. Right now, we're just enjoying things. I'll probably hand off the camera a little bit later to McClin's wife, Tiffany. This is her first time and see how she's doing um, on the second day on our first backpacking trip. We'll probably check in with you guys, let everyone know how that's going, but for now it's a really nice morning. A lot less hot than yesterday. So we've been walking about three and a half miles, maybe a little bit more, and we were gonna wait a little bit to uh, let the rest of the group catch up to us and see how they're doing and everything like that um, And also I have all the camera gear and so if we want to film any of their thoughts or how they're doing uh, I've got the stuff, but problem is When we stop at this section of the trail There are tons of gnats and bugs and they swarm you as soon as you stop when you're moving you're okay But if you stop it gets real bad and they're flying inside my ears and I just can't handle that. I don't know, we'll see if they catch up or not. But uh, so far we're making pretty good time. What's up? Hey, hey. There they are. Oh, ambush. For sure you were racing us to the switchbacks. No, we've been like stopping like as much as we can. Day two, headed home. How you feeling? No, I'm, I'm feeling okay. A little, a little tired because yesterday, oh, I don't think I've walked that much in like years. So just shy of 10 miles. Yep, slept like a log. That was that was great actually. I was so tired. It was like dinner time and everybody was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna stay up for a while. And I was like, nope. I'm headed to bed. I actually didn't sleep as well last night. And overall, for my first time, I would say. That was positive, that was good. I liked it and I mean, I really like like these, what are these called? Trekking poles. <laughs> these trekking poles are nice. Tyler. Tyler, Tyler's lending me them and so that helps. And then the backpack's good. I think it's just my feet. Now Outdoor Vitals just needs to make some shoes. <laughs> what do you say you want, want to go on another 10 miler? Oh, ah oh, man. I don't know, I guess it depends on where it's at. If it was like an organ or something that I've never been before, then probably, but, but I don't know. You grew up in Cedar, so all this is familiar with to you. <laughs> all of the sand and the, the sand's the worst part. The sand is the worst part. So say next month, going on five miles, you come. Yeesh. Make it four and you got a deal. <laughs> okay. 
that's like really hot. My wife Maddie, she's from Mesa, Arizona, and so she's like, this is perfect, perfect weather. Okay, I'm back. Oh my goodness. I'm about to die. Just went up a hill. We're on the edge of a cliff. Oh my goodness, help! All right, so we made it back to the vehicles. Everyone's safe and sound. The first time backpacker made it on their first trip. Did awesome. We found water, which was super good. That would have been way bad if that spring wasn't running the way that it was. Uh, we made it up this crazy steep climb right back here, which is like hits you once you let your guard down on the trip. But overall, really awesome trip. Got to test some prototypes and some different gear, new top quilts, which were super nice. Um, but yeah, leave us comments below. We love doing things like this. We want to make them educational and entertaining. So let us know what you liked most and we'll keep it going. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.